Hi guys, this is Baskaberry and in this video I am going to explain you about how to use the row count transformation. The row count transformation counts the rows as they pass through the data flow and stores the final count in a variable. Where do we use this row count transformation? This row count transformation is used in audit for the audit purpose like to check the how many records has been successfully inserted and how many records has been uh, or failed the count to send any emails so how many records has been successfully inserted so to get the count of these records which are successful and failure and for the audit purpose also to store the uh, in data warehousing normally we use this auditing process so it is very useful to get the count of the transform records okay let me show you the demo of this uh, created a new package let me rename that let me create a OLEDB connection here and select some source ok drag and drop the data flow task just renaming the data flow task ok drag and drop the OLEDB source I'm going to just going to take the table employee as a source There are some quite of records. Let me use the where is this wrote on count. Here it is row count transformation. Before this, what I need to go to I'll go to the control flow and SSIS click on the variables, create one variable, package level variable, saying that it's a row count it's an integer and value is 0 ok so go to the row count transformations and set the variable just now we created that uh, uh, package variable use that count and I'm just going to use a multicast and if you have any des uh, uh, destinations in your package you can use it I'm just for the demo purpose I'm using a multicast here you can have your respective uh, multi mm, destination here ok save it come back to the control flow let me use the script task to show you the the record count So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just uh, read that variable which where I, where the record count has been stored, and edit the script. And in this script, I'm just going to show this way how what is the value of this variable. Okay, since I have used this up, let me uh, write this. Dts dot variable. The name of the variable. should be pasted inside the message box okay save it and close this okay I'm going to 
this is the package and run it uh, to actually know how many records has been uh, loaded you can even see here also you can see a 27 records has been loaded into the uh, in target table the same count the message box has been shown as 27 okay thank you for watching this video please do subscribe my youtube channel